Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is a special video entitled A Decade of Forging. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this little slideshow with us. Yes, definitely. Yeah, Roy has officially been a uh, blacksmith now for a full 10 years. And yeah, so we thought... A little more than now, actually. <laughs> yeah. But... Yep. And uh, as a subscriber request as well, we've had some questions. Uh, you know, we'd like to see a wide range of Roy's work. And so yeah. I came along and I put together the slideshow and this is nowhere even as close to <laughs> <laughs> as far as uh, all the photos we have. I think it's approximately 400 photographs in the slideshow alone. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy to look at my work. You know, I've got a, I'm actually looking at the tablet right now and you're probably just seeing this knife I had made way back when and another knife and yeah, mm -hmm. for a guy who doesn't make knives now, you uh -huh. know, so you guys can see that. Yes, I even started with that as well and you know the interesting thing about doing uh, blacksmithing is it's so multifaceted you know you've got everything from split crosses to um, <laughs> me sweating away wearing an old company shirt he used to work for butler heating and air with my baby face <laughs> oh. and these are some of our craft fair items and when we were first learning how to sell on ebay and stuff too so yeah yeah yeah. just started off online first on ebay but yeah yeah mm. but yeah so, as uh, you see some welded art um sold well those mm. sold pretty well actually yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> i sold those more than i sold my forged items mm -hmm. um, but uh yeah you know i hope this video will be an encouragement to you as we go through this video that you guys can take and get inspired by seeing the dates and the timestamps of kind of how things happen. And this is not an exhaustive list of mm -hmm. photos of the work that I've done. There was over 2,000 mm -hmm. photos, yes. wasn't there, yeah. of work. That's individual items that mm -hmm. she had photographed. Um, and that doesn't even represent all of the items that I've put out in a decade of forging. So yeah, I, I believe I'm, I'm close to around 6,000 items in the amount of time that I've been forging. But yeah, I've tried to yeah. avoid putting repetitive items throughout here because, you know, if Roy's forged 500 or something, you don't need to see all 500 yeah. photos of that exact same item or pretty close to. Yeah. So as you can tell, some of my work was pretty crude. Mm -hmm. um, a good transition right here. This was my very first class ever uh, with Wayne Apgar um, out at Touchstone Center for Crafts. Mm -hmm. In that first photo, you saw this little cruddy looking flower. Well, this, these other photos were taken after the class mm -hmm. and where my work had progressed just by taking one class with somebody who actually knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And then of course we got a uh, kick back to the old school where I was. In the old backyard. Yep, still out in the little shop. Yeah, making snakes and... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, a lot of this stuff I look at now and I'm just like, wow, you know, what was I thinking and what mm -hmm. did I think was acceptable back in those days and... Uh, but, you know, it's okay. It's a, it's a learning process and you mm -hmm. slowly progress over time. And uh, you can definitely tell that I've progressed. Yeah. quite a bit over Just time. look at that rose, how flat the petals are across that. And mm -hmm. you're going to see some of Roy's r roses later on and they really have a lot more expression to them. Yeah. And yeah, and even with some of my copper work, I was doing some copper bowls really early on. They were really rough, um, really rough shaped. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, some people like that. Some people like that sort of look, but they were definitely less refined as than what you'll see later on in the video as well. Mm -hmm. And again, some of that was okay because you know we were marketing. It was a lot cheaper items. They were they were marketed towards the craft going fair as well. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and just kind of like the craft fairs and craft shows and art shows and things like that that we tried to mm -hmm. do back in the day. And then as we, I got better and as my skills progressed, I was able to you know, charge more for my work. Um, mm -hmm. And in doing so, I was able to undertake even more uh, neater jobs, just jobs that were a lot cooler to do um, and uh, had more significance and took more skill and things like that. So, mm -hmm. Made a lot of S hooks in yeah. my day. A lot of S hooks. All kinds of hooks. A lot of Rams ram hooks. A lot of hooks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Practicing with some fold forming yep. there. A lot of bowls too as well. A bunch mm -hmm. of fold form bowls. 
different types. This one here was a particularly fun project. I uh, straightened out a fort lift time. She actually got that in out of order, but that's what it started as. Oh, yeah. And then we got it straight by the end of it. It was mm -hmm. just a big L uh, with a shoe there. And my dad and I, between the both of us and about, oh, 100 pounds of coal or so, we were able to get that whole thing straight as an arrow for a guy and uh, <laughs> reheat treated. I did the best I could with it. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, that was a fun, interesting project. Yeah. Got in way over my head. On, so. Especially in a tiny little shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bunch of snakes that went through a snake phase. Um, I went through an, an animal character for, phase where I was doing ram's heads and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, repurposed items went through a phase on that, as you can see with the coat racks. Yeah. Out of fork. <laughs> hay fork tines mm -hmm. yeah some art fairs set up there me rocking a burly beard oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> little sword you made for your nephew yeah little sword I made for my nephew he wanted a sword so I had forged him one mm -hmm. <laughs> non-sharp oh yeah yeah non-sharp little horseshoe nail hooks mm -hmm. thousands of those mm-hmm yeah, the interesting, even if you look at the photography, it's interesting how it progressed as well. Like at the very beginning of the slideshow, like things were out of focus, mm -hmm. the backgrounds were terribly ugly. Um, you know, I slowly started getting better as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like taking me a decade as well to get better at photo taking. Yeah. But that's just practice as well too. And having the right gear too, that, ex that helps too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some of these, some of these items, are, I just noticing some of these photos. I think some of the dates were wrong on these. I think some of them were just a little earlier. But okay. the way things go with cameras and stuff, not always is the timestamp correct yeah. on them and things like that. And so it was kind of hard to weed through them. Some of these are a little earlier works, and they weren't technically this work here. But uh, you know, they're doing pretty well anyhow. They're, they're not too bad. Mm -hmm. Got them pretty good. But you can see they are progressing. They're getting better. And like the photos. As you said, the composition mm. of the photos are getting better. Choosing our backgrounds better for mm. them. You know, we're not just on white backgrounds anymore. We're actually trying to find natural environments that work better for the ironwork. Yep. Here's what I moved into the shop without concrete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was, yeah. Man alive, look at that. <laughs> There's a whole lot less tools in there. Yes, there <laughs> was. It was really, really basic. There's my little sway back anvil, a little 300 pound. Mm -hmm. Used to have a wooden bench. Mm -hmm. I transferred and did a lot of work. I've done a lot of work in that shop, a lot of work in that mm -hmm. shop. Now this was a class I took with Tom Latney. This was actually my first class with Tom Latney. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a decorative door knocker. Mm -hmm. so that was changed my life. <laughs> yeah, open your eyes. <laughs> I became a Tom fan, fan boy ever since mm -hmm. for that, so. Boot scraper for my landlords, trivet. That was a Christmas present. Yeah, for a Christmas present. That was my... Another Christmas yeah, present. Coat rack. Coat rack. Me hanging some steel racks. <laughs> it looks so sparse it in does. there it compared to now. Sparse. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Some of these photos, if it seems like I'm kind of shocked or surprised, a lot of these photos, I'm just seeing them for the first time. Jessica put all this together, did this whole slideshow, and then we're just filming this together. Yeah, and, you I know, in it's person, possible so. you've never seen some of these photographs. I mean, yeah. obviously you remember making the item. but Yeah, I made the item. That was a little mm -hmm. demonstration of a solid forged acanthus, uh, a calla, lily. calla lilies, tiny calla lilies. So. Mm -hmm. That was a neat process. Yep. Cobra. A little <laughs> cobra coat hook. Mm -hmm. Another bowl of some kind. <laughs> and now we're starting to get a little bit better. You know, started refining my processes and was able to get bigger jobs. Yes. Like the one you see here. This one went all the way to Australia. Uh, that was an interesting job. Mm -hmm. That was a real interesting job. It is a geo display, hence all the, the bowls, and mm -hmm. uh, it's meant for displaying things like that. And that, one's, that one was a stainless steel base, right? Yep. Where there's two different bases. 
and all the pieces of that broke down and came apart. <sighs> all those pieces came apart so this way they could be shipped. And uh, it was a <laughs> it was a job job and a half. So mm -hmm. little dragon just for fun. Yeah. That was literally just me playing around in the shop one day. I was like, mm -hmm. hey, what do I want to make today? And I, I started with a dragon head, and then I just kept going from there. And that's, yeah. oh, that's how that really one cute. came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That um, letter opener, I think, was your last, well, one of your last. Last bladed <laughs> items, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, last bladed <laughs> items ever, so. Yeah, some of these are earlier works, too. Mm -hmm. You're going back to the white mm -hmm. white backgrounds. I think they got misplaced out of order just a bit. They might but, have a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of but a that's there. But that's the way it works. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it you works. Have as many photographs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a picture of uh, Roy and I striking together. Yep. Yeah. Back when I thought it was okay to swing a big hammer one-handed by yourself. <laughs> yeah. A little rail I did, and a little grab rail for a lady. One of very few rails I've ever done. And the knot sculpture. We did quite a few of those for mm -hmm. anniversaries. Now these are just swords that I cut down. The guy that I was doing them for, he's a collector of knives and things, and he wanted these things cut down to a parrying thing. And so... I cut them down for them. <laughs> that was it. I literally um, did nothing else to them <laughs> than cut them off. Yeah. yeah, I did a few little adjustments and then I cleaned them up, kind of sharpened them a bit, and that was it. So, mm -hmm. yep, Thor hammer that was lost twice. In the mail, well, it lost once in the mail. I had to make a second one. Yeah. Yeah, for a guy. Yeah. Still not happy at the USPS about that one. Oh no. No. <laughs> no. Destroyed in normal machine processing. It's when we went to enclosing our stuff in wooden crates inside the cardboard. That yep. way it doesn't bust out. Yeah. Big copper hearth plate there that I did is sent all the way to Sweden. That was awesome. And we're only to 2015. We are, yeah. It actually, from this point forward, there's actually more photos per year because I started taking even larger quantity of photographs of yep. things. So, of all the custom work yeah. that I started doing. And there's a lot more jobs, things. too, yeah. just in general. So, Yep. A lot of neat stuff over a short period of time. Yeah, that was for a buddy of mine, friend. That was made at class at Touchstone. And at this point, I was still doing hooks on occasion <laughs> for that people. Was, that was a big one. That was like an yep. inch hook right there. Yeah, that and keychain stuff, you know, really whatever somebody came around with, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's a neat one. That one was with the Star of David and a shield, and there's a guy that I, uh, a client that I know out in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, he was taking and mm -hmm. adding wood to it mm -hmm. and things like that. That thing came out pretty sweet. We don't have a photo of the finish to that, but. No, we don't. And then this is some stainless steel vine work I did for a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Custom motorcycle that actually won uh, best in show at an Easy Rider convention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a and giant fire poker for a Renaissance fair. Mm -hmm. Yep. As far as I know, they're still getting many of years of use <laughs> out of that one. That's been a long time ago now. That one's been, yeah. <laughs> Some of the little copper mugs. A little copper mugs. Stamping out the lighting. Now that was actually stamping on some uh, What's that? keychains. Yeah, those yep. keychains. Yeah, mm -hmm. I key, well, bottle openers. Well, yeah. yeah, that's right, bottle openers for yep. a wedding, uh, wedding mm -hmm. party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a little. It's been a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I mean, that's that's the. <laughs> yeah, there's a huge variety of the work that I've done, and you know, it's fun that people always ask me, well, you know, what do you do? Oh, you're a blacksmith, so. What is it that you make? And basically, I have made anything across the last decade that's put food on the table, that's kept a roof over our head, that allowed us to, um, you know, 
just continue to keep the business running, you know, and, and keep that blessings flowing that way. And, and, you know, God's been great to us. He's really blessed us in the last decade. I've been forging and doing this. And, and you could definitely tell the difference when I started, you know, pursuing stuff more professionally um, and keeping at it full time. You could see there's a more quantity of things. Um, you know, and again, there's a few little things that are interdispersed in here and kind of sprinkled in that look more rustic and look more, you know, uh, kind of crude, if you will. And some of that was styling choices by the by the customer, you know. And so yeah. I did my best to do it the best I wanted to do it, but you know, there was a time crunch and I was only getting paid so much, so I couldn't take and make it, you know, as gorgeous as I would like it to be. You know, so there are some cruiser items in there, and then there's a lot more refined pieces. And you'll see this mix, and there's just a menagerie, really. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, there, there really is a menagerie of different things. So everything from more refined to better to some of the stuff's a little more crude, you know. And it, it's, it's, it's interesting to just look mm -hmm. back on it all. And again, this is a small sampling. Yes. This is 400 photos, I think, in I total. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this whole thing's 400 photos. Uh, she's tried to pick the most diversity <laughs> yeah. that she can find. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a ton of photos, a bunch of jobs that I've done that. Mm -hmm. I think it. I think we calculated what it would be like a, almost an eight-hour. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think was it, it was eight hour? Video. Yeah, it would almost be an eight hour long video to do mm -hmm. a slideshow of all of the photos that we have. <laughs> Some of them aren't <laughs> worth looking at. Yeah. Some of them whatever. just aren't worth looking at. And... Like I took fifty photos of one item, just trying to get just the right angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I've had fun. Had a lot of fun in the last ten years, and mm -hmm. I hope God gives me another decade in the business and. Um, at least another two or three decades would be great at mm -hmm. this business. And, uh, you know, and I, I hope that this inspires you wherever you're at in your forging. That, you know, you just keep working at it and you get better and better and better and better. And you, you get more and more and more jobs. You get a lot of more, you get a better skill sets. You learn more from people. You learn more from instructors, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get better at your photography. Your equipment improves. Mm -hmm. Your camera skills improve. Your salesmanship and the value you're providing out there improves, you know. Yeah. Um, even if you're doing this as a hobby, okay, even if you're doing this as a hobby, all those things progress with time. Mm -hmm. Blacksmithing's a long slow outstanding tradition of craftsmen and we are the master of all crafts men out there um, and I really do believe that now if you're a woodworker you're probably hating me right now or if you're some other a potter or something like that you're probably hating me but but it's very true you know the, this is to be a blacksmith allows you to branch off into so many different things everything from copper work you can go from copper work to silver to, you know, brass to bronze to steel to high carbon steels to alloys of all sorts and shapes and sizes uh, to forging titanium. And you can do all these different skill sets and you can apply them to one thing and one craft. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I really say that it's kind of it's, it, it is a master craft. A craft to beat all other crafts, in my own personal opinion. Of course, I ain't biased in the <laughs> slightest. Not at all. Um, oh, well. But you know, a lot of things take real true skill. Mm. You know, woodworking. I'm not a great woodworker, so psh, I'm a mm. horrible woodworker. But, you know, metalwork, I can do that. I understand that. But mm -hmm. you know, wood, I shave a little off, and I shave a little more off, and I cut mm. it three times, mm. and it's still too darn short. So mm. and that's that's my classic. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Roy problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, man, we're only to 2017. That's right. <laughs> Gee whiz, here we go. About two thirds of the way through. Yep. Start getting heavier into copper projects. Mm -hmm. Start getting heavier into copper and projects. And kitchen wares as well. Yeah. Yep, and kitchen wares. Mm -hmm. I had a few bottle openers and things, and yeah, I had a bunch of kitchen wear stuff. Mm -hmm going out between skillets and copper and you name it. Yeah. Stop did some demonstrations. 
Yeah. And also picked up YouTube in the meantime as well. That's right, so. yeah. Some of these photos that if you've been on the channel for any length of time, you'll probably be like, hey, that looks like something in one of the thumbnails. Mm -hmm. And that's because it is. Some of these things you started making not as much for our store or mm -hmm. for a customer, but just to add They to were YouTube for video. YouTube videos. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were just demonstration pieces. Mm -hmm. So. A lot of these, a lot of stuff I try to do, I try to use dual purpose. So if I've got a job that I'm working on, it's great to try to do a tutorial or a video tutorial around it if I can. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times that's just not possible. And so therefore, you know, I have to break away and make it an individual project. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are some things, like I said, you'll see in here that are not, you know, they, they were not uh, projects at all ever on the on the YouTube channel like this bird mm -hmm. bath here. Largest copper bowl to date. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Is that three thirty inches or three foot? Three foot in diameter. Three foot in diameter, yeah. What? Yeah. So as you can see, I'm going along. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a neat. It's neat looking back. There was Mokume in that one. I, I really enjoyed doing that. Did that as a demonstration. Did some hold fast. Plenty of skillets. I've made mm -hmm. plenty of skillets. Those are a good seller. Plenty of rose bouquets. As you could tell, if you look at that difference between those to my earlier roses. Yes. 100% uh, different. You know, that was a YouTube tutorial there, just doing a calla lily. Mm -hmm. More fireplace frames, that's some fabrication type work. A bigger fireplace frame. Yep. And surround, I did. Installed at the customer site. That was a neat job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cultured, what looks mm -hmm. like wood there is actually cultured stone. Yeah. Some sheep shears mm -hmm. that I forged. For actually a pair of them museum for a museum. Of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yep. In Washington, D.C. Yep, that's for the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. So I got some more work in there, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Kind of neat. Also, I got two big baking pans. They're yep. like big baking steels. Up right there. Right there. Boom. Mm -hmm. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a bowl turned upside down. Yeah. A big one. <laughs> yeah. Did a whole tutorial on this as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're going to see a whole lot of tutorial-like items that I did as there, well. Yeah, the, the banana, banana hanger. <laughs> yeah. More bowls. Mm -hmm. More basins and things. Yeah. That was custom hammer for a person, for a guy. Mm -hmm. That's also our channel banner. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Steel flip-flops. Steel flip-flops. <laughs> that was just a gag. <laughs> forged and flop. Is yep. that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hashtag forged and flop for anybody who's not doing that still. <laughs> it never took off. <laughs> Thought it would be a viral sensation. It never worked. <laughs> it, it flopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it flopped. It definitely flopped. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep, man, there's, yeah, there's a lot. We're getting into a lot of demonstration pieces that I've done for YouTube now. Yep. Yeah, definitely so. Yep. A sink I made for my parents' tiny cabin they had. Came out pretty well. It did, yeah. Actually, technically, it was for a customer that reneged on me, and then, so, I gave it to my parents. Mm. They had it, so. <laughs> Candlestick. That yep. one that actually was made several years earlier mm -hmm. at one of your classes. But I made, but I did one in a video. Yeah, I did a and you tutorial also did one as a yep. class. So. Mm -hmm. I did one as a class as well. Mm -hmm. yep. This is this <laughs> next photo is one of my favorites. Just I love how the light was hitting it, just kind of glancing across the top of the model. A lot of memorial crosses. I've done a lot of memorial crosses for people. Um, 
and things. And you know, and that's something I really like. That's something I really enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. You know, for people. Um, yeah, there's some of those right there. And well, they're not hanging up just yet, but mm-hmm. on there, there's some other. Like said, a lot of copper work, a lot of torch work, different things of that nature. Mm-hmm. That was our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Yep, 10,000 yeah. subscriber <laughs> giveaway. Man, that was a while ago, huh? That was a little while yep. ago. Some custom claw hammers for people. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another utensil set, that one with the fleur de lis in. Mm-hmm. Now, finally, drum roll. 2018. <laughs> Woo! That's this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start, yeah. Started off with a little hand. <laughs> a little Thor hammery hand. Mm-hmm. And I kind of grouped those all together. Yep, little pendants. You guys have seen videos on that, how to do those as well. Mm-hmm. Some more bowl work. Now, if you notice on some of the bulwark, it doesn't look like it's changed a lot over the years. And the reason for that being is I am aiming to match a picture from what somebody has already bought. So I'm trying to match up something that I'm forging now with something that I forged four years ago. Um, And so, you know, you can't give them something totally wildly different, even though it's better, Mm -hmm. in my opinion. They bought something that they thought was already great. Mm-hmm. And so uh, you kind of have to watch that. That's something I'm getting away from progressing forward. Yeah. Uh, it'll be something that I'm moving away from slow but steady. Mm-hmm. There's Chandler Dickinson hammer I made. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That was a giveaway hammer. Well, well auction. Split. Auction. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was an auction hammer to benefit Chandler Dickinson with his move and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that went really well. Thank you to everybody who's supported yeah. on that one and thank you if you're still here watching this video <laughs> yeah. yeah 30 minutes later it's been a been a long ride mm-hmm. yeah. yeah you'll notice in 2018 there's a lot of uh, a lot of custom hammers yeah a lot of custom hammers in 2018 mm-hmm. yeah this is perhaps one of the prettiest hammers i think i've made yet so yeah it is pretty that's most refined anyhow mm-hmm I've done a lot of more rustic looking, you know, again, this is a styling, this is a style type hammer. It's a stylized hammer. And so it's something that people were already expecting to have a stylized hammer Mm -hmm. that looked more rustic. So trying to match things. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's tricky sometimes. And of course, the end of the year with the giant sledgehammer. Yeah. So, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and we look forward to another decade of forging. God bless you all.